Let's discuss division. Today, we will be using the array model to divide. Before we begin, let's review some vocabulary. The dividend is the number that's being divided. The divisor is what we are dividing by, how many groups, how many rows we're putting it into. And our quotient is our answer. So let's take a look at our first equation. We have 20 divided by 5. We are going to be creating rows of 5 until we reach 20. To find our quotient, we will count how many rows we created. So we're going to start by drawing a row of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we will put equals 5 at the end to keep track of how many x's we've drawn. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have drawn all of our x's. We have divided 20 into rows of 5. And now we need to count how many rows we drew. So we drew 1, 2, 3, 4 rows, which tells me 20 divided by 5 gives us a quotient of 4. Let's try another one. We have 42 divided by 7. Remember, we are taking 42 and dividing it into rows of 7. So let's begin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So in order to find our quotient, we are going to count how many rows we drew. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So 42 divided by 7 gives us a quotient of 6. Let's do one more. This time I'm going to switch up the strategy a little bit. It will still give us the same answer, but it's a different method for solving it. Still with the array, so we are still going to draw those x's, but instead we're taking 60 and we're dividing it into six rows. So I'm going to start by writing one, two, three, four, five, six. And what we're going to do is we're going to put one x in each row until we reach 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Sorry, it looks like I went up a little bit with my X's, but our job now is to count how many X's are in each row, and that will tell us our quotient. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We want to still count how many are in the next row, so we're not adding on to 10, but we're starting back at 1 to make sure that each row has the same amount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we did it correctly because each row has the same amount. So 60 divided into six rows gives us a quotient of 10 in each row. You may choose whichever strategy you would like with this array model. Keep practicing and good luck.